Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a review and show you how to make coffee with this Amazon Basics 5 cup coffee maker. So this coffee maker has a little nice uh, glass carafe. It's got a warming plate. On the side it's got a switch. So when you turn it on to brew the coffee it's going to light up. You got to remember to turn the coffee maker off. So we're going to turn the switch on to brew coffee. We're going to leave the switch on. That keeps the warming plate on. So as soon as you're done with the warming plate, so the coffee, you're not going to be drinking it anymore, then you want to turn the switch off. That way it turns the warming plate off. Okay, so up here is the where it's going to brew the coffee. It does come with this filter basket, and it does come with a reusable filter. So you can use a basket-style 1 to 4 cup paper filter if you'd like. So up here, here's where the filter basket's going to go. You're either going to use the reusable or the paper. You don't use both of them at the same time. This is where you're going to pour your water, and there's the brew head. That's where the hot water is going to come out. Okay, so you're going to put one tablespoon of ground coffee in the filter basket for every cup you're going to brew. So since this is a five-cup coffee maker, you can put five tablespoons in there. Now, whatever amount of water you put back here, when you turn it on, that's what it's going to brew. So if you only want three cups of coffee, put three tablespoons and fill it up to the three mark. And when you turn it on, it'll only brew three cups. Okay, so I got my five tablespoons of coffee. I've got the, the craft filled up. Now we're gonna pour it in the back. The craft pour is really nice. We're gonna put it back here. Okay, so we got it filled up. There's a little window on the side here to show you how much water is in the back. I've got it up to the five cup mark. The craft is back and we're gonna turn it on. Okay, so we're gonna time it. We're gonna do some temperature checks and see how it tastes at the end. So make sure the um, lid is on the craft. That's what's gonna push up that little plunger to let the coffee out. And so it starts brewing right away. Okay, so it's been about three minutes. We're up to the two cup mark and 180 degree at the top. Let's just take a sneak peek, see how it's brewing. Yeah, it's doing a good job brewing. So this coffee maker is 600 watts. Okay, so it's a very quiet coffee maker. At, towards the end, you do get a little bit of steam popping out the top. It's got a little bit to drain out of the filter basket, but we're almost done. Okay, so right about the seven minute mark, we're done brewing. There's how the coffee looks. A little bit more to drain out of the filter basket. Okay, so now that switch is lit up because I've got it turned on when I, when I started the brew. I'm gonna leave that switch on. When, I'm, when I don't want this coffee, this warming plate to stay on anymore, then I'm gonna turn that off. If you leave that on, it could evaporate the water out of there and burn the coffee to the bottom of the craft. Okay, so let's see how the craft pours. Be careful, this is hot. So it pours really nice. See how hot the coffee is? 167, yeah, that's a very hot cup of coffee. There's what the coffee looks like. I've been, this coffee is really hot to drink right now. I've been drinking out of there. It makes a great cup of coffee. Okay, so cleanup is very simple. Be careful, this can be hot up here and this filter basket can be hot, but there's these little ears. You're gonna grab those. You can take that over to the trash can, get rid of the coffee grounds. You can wash both the filter and the basket in the top rack of the dishwasher. There's that plunger that comes down. Let's, let's go over dimensions. Front to back is about seven inches. Left to right is about five inches. So with the lid all the way open, you're looking at right about 16 and a half inches. Again, there's just kind of a close up of how the coffee did. It did not overflow the filter basket, which is good. So this coffee maker retails for $23 on Amazon. So I like that it comes with a reusable filter. Now you will get a little bit of sediment in your coffee with a reusable filter, but if you use a paper filter, you don't get any of that sediment at all. I'll put a link to it in the show description notes. Underneath the video, if you see the word see more, click on it, it'll open up a description of the video and in there, there'll be links to Amazon for this product. I'm also gonna do a comparison with the Mr. Coffee 5 Cup Mini Brew. So thanks everybody for watching. If you could hit the thumbs up button, that really helps me out. Thanks everybody for watching. And if you could, please like and subscribe.